I'm going to go through each of these um, words and we're going to decide which ones are which ones they apply to. Alright, so starting with the word adjacent, what does adjacent mean to us? They share a vertex and a wall. Okay. So we're going to go through and decide which ones are adjacent. Um, is A adjacent? It is. Is B adjacent? It's and. So reason being, they have the same vertex, they have the same wall. Um, letter B, what did we decide? No. no, not adjacent. C, no, not adjacent. D, they are adjacent because of this wall they share. E, they are adjacent. And then F, they are not adjacent. So again, adjacent means that the angles would have to have, so a number, a wall, a number, vice versa, a number, a wall, a number, and that's not happening on F. Next one, we have complementary. What does complementary mean? They add up to 90. So letter A, does 120 and 60 add up to 90? No. Definitely not. Does 30 plus 60? Yes. yes. So B is complementary. C, do they add up to 90? No. no. D? No. E? Yes, 25 and 65, they add up to 90, so that makes them complementary. And then F? 90 and 50? No. All right, supplementary, what does supplementary mean? They add up to 180. Um, so can they be complementary and supplementary at the same time? No. Okay, so letter A, do these add up? So 120 and 60, do they add up to 180? Yes. yes. B, we already said was complementary, so it can't be supplementary. C, um, 95 and 95, what do we think? That's a no. Um, 135 and 45? Yes. yes. E was complementary, so definitely not. And then F, 90 and 50. No. Um, vertical. Vertical means they only share what? A vertex. So can they be adjacent and vertical? They cannot. So letter A is adjacent, so it's definitely not vertical. Letter B, do they share a vertex? No. Letter C, do they share a vertex? Yes, these are vertical. Are you sure this vertex? Letter D, they're adjacent, so they're definitely not vertical. Letter E, again, adjacent, not vertical. Letter F, they share a vertex, but what do we know about the measurements of vertical angles? They're congruent. Are 90 and 50 the same? No, so these are not vertical, okay? All right, and then the almost last. We have a linear pair. A linear pair has to be two things. Supplementary, supplementary and, adjacent. and adjacent. So supplementary and adjacent. Letter A is adjacent and supplementary, so is it a linear pair? Yes, yes I'm going to write LP. Letter B is definitely not. Letter C, definitely not. Letter D, what do we think? Yes. 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 Letter E, no, because it was complementary. And then letter F? No. no. Okay. So then are any of them nothing? Yes. yes. Which one? F. Yeah, F is nothing. All right, so 14, you are making a picture frame in shop class. Two pieces of wood are cut to form a complementary angle so they fit together properly. One angle needs to be 7x plus 23 degrees, and the other angle needs to be 3x plus 27 degrees. What is the measure of the larger angle? 
So what is the important word in this word problem? Complimentary. Complimentary. What does that tell me? They're going to add up to 90. So the two angles that they gave me, which are 7x plus 23 and 3x plus 27, they will equal 90. I saw a lot of people do this correct, and then their, their math was horrible, like algebra. These are on the same side. So are we going to subtract them or are going to add them like they say? You're going to add them. When you're combining like terms, you do what it says. It says 7x plus 3x, so that makes 10x. So I saw a lot of that happening, a lot, a lot of that happening. We have 23 and 27. Add them together and they make 50. I am recording. Just throwing it out there to you. What's my next step? Subtract the 50. The only reason I subtract the 50 is to get it across the equal sign. So I have 10x equals 40, so x equals 4. This is not my final answer. What does it want me to find? The yeah, the measure of the larger angle. So measure means I'm going to have a number and degrees answer. Um, I cannot tell by just looking at them which one's going to be the larger answer. This was literally the same numbers as the one on your test. People were like, oh, this one's bigger because it's going to have 27. That's not the thought process you want. You want to plug them into both? See which one's bigger. So 3 times 4 plus, we said 27. What's 3 times 4? Plus 27? 39. So some people circled this and they were done. So they did not answer the question. Because the other angle, if you plugged in 4, 7 times 4 plus 23. 7 times 4 is? Plus 23 is? 51. So which one of these is larger? 51. The 51 degree angle. Okay? So if you got this wrong on the quiz, this is the same exact question. Literally didn't change the numbers. All right? Were there any other questions of the evens that we wanted to do? Um, so how do you know when the x's are going to be on the same side of the equation and when they're not going to be on the same side? Well, these don't, the, it says complementary. Complementary means two angles that add up and equal 90. So I just know the definition of complementary. They're only on the opposite side if it says the word bisects. So, like, I don't think you had one last night. Yeah, you did 10. It says in the diagram, B, or DC bisects BDA. Bisects means that they're equal, they're congruent. So that means that this angle is equal to this angle. So that's when you would set them equal. That's the only time you set them equal, is when it says the word bisects. Are there any others? That was a good question. Okay, go ahead and take out that piece of paper from earlier. You're going to draw and then write these questions. We're going to go through them. This is a part of your notebook check. You should have already named this 9-11 review. If you did not, please put it at the top while we wait for this to load. God bless America. You're going to draw this picture, and if you finish, it's on the same paper as the one before. Um, if you finish, you can start writing down the questions. But I will only wait for you to draw the picture. So, draw and draw quickly. Uh, it's depressing, buddy. In the first, give a name for plane M. So why could they use a single letter to name the plane? Yeah, it's not a line, it's not a point, it's a capital letter. This means this was a name of the plane. Um, otherwise, when you name a plane, you use the word plane. How many letters do you use to name a plane? Three, and they have to be non-collinear. What does non-collinear mean to us? Yeah, not on the same line. So, well, we can't use the letter M because it's not a point. 
Uh, what other letters can we not use? G, can't use G. What else? P and P. Why can't we use P? It's not on the plane. It's not on the plane, and then we can't use H. So we can use any combination of the remaining letters, except for what combination can we not use? X, y, Z. Can't use X, Y, Z, because they're on the same line. Good. So then pick three that we want to use. X, Y, and Z, Y, Sorry, I heard this one first. So you can say X, Y, N, um, Z, Y, N, Z, X, N. You're definitely going to have to use the letter N. Next question, I'll give you a second to write it down. It says, name a line in the plane. Name a line in the plane. So there are two lines, only one of them's like on the plane, in the plane. And it's this one. Can I use the word line? Yes. Yes. What is the only letter I can use with the word line? A G. Okay, because it's a lowercase. Or I could use my arrows and two points. So pick two points that are on the plane. XZ. Sure, XZ. What else could we have said? Other than ZX. XY. XY, or we could have said YZ. Okay, obviously any of the flipped of those would work as well. So it only asks for one. I'm just writing all of them so you know. You could review because this stuff is on the test tomorrow. Name a line intersecting the plane. So name a line intersecting the plane. So it's obviously this line. What do the dots mean? These dots right here. It's behind. Okay, yeah. It goes through, and the dots mean that the line continues behind the plane. So we're going to name it. Could we use the word line? Yes. We can. With what letter? H, or we can name it with the arrows, and what two letters? PY. You could also say YP. Those are the only answers. Number four says name two rays. What does this symbol look like when you name a ray? A line with an arrow pointing to the right. So go ahead and pick two points to make a ray. Y, Z, sure, why not? So Y, Z, and then pick another. Y, X, sure. Starting at Y, or sorry, yeah, ending at X, so Y, X. Are these opposite rays? They are opposite rays. Why are they opposite rays? End point, good. So they go in opposite directions. They have the same end, same end point. What's their end point? Y. Um... They go in opposite directions, they're on the same line. So you could just name them again. Y, what do we say? Z, Y, X. Give you a second to write down the last question. It says name a point that is not on the plane. There's only one possible answer, and it is P. P. The letter P. You're going to write down two more problems, and then we'll be finished. Um, reviewing other things. These two, one I know for sure, um, some people got wrong on the quiz, and it's on the test review tonight. And then the other one I know that's on the test, and you haven't seen it yet. So go ahead and write down the first one. Two angles form a linear pair. The measure of one angle is twice the measure of the other angle. So two angles form a linear pair. The measure of one angle is twice the measure of the other angle. So in order to draw a picture, what is important for this? What words are important to us? A linear pair. We have two angles in our linear pair. Good. So what does a linear pair look like? An upside down T. <clears throat> so we're going to name two angles. This almost exact question was on the, the quiz. Um, it says one angle is twice. So when I say twice, is that two plus, two minus, two times, two divided by? Two times. Two times. So it's two times something. And what is that something? Okay. Yes, but what does X represent? Yeah, the other angle. So two times the other angle. 
So one of our angles is 2x. So what is the name of the other angle? x. So we have 2x and x. Now that we have a picture, what do we know about linear pairs? They're supplementary, which means they add up to 180. So we're going to say 2x, oops, sorry, 2x plus x equals 180 degrees because that's how much they add up to. 2x plus x is 3x equals 180. Divide by 3 and x equals 60. So we found one of our angles. So what will the other one be? 120. So 60 and then 120. So again, the common mistake is that people forget to name the other angle x. This is the last one we do. The measure of an angle is 29 times the measure of its complement. So 29 times the measure of its complement. I'll give you a second to write it down. All right, so what in this problem tells me what it's going to look like? Complement. The complement. What does complement mean? Two angles that add up to 90. What does 90 look like? A right angle. So you're going to have two angles that are going to make up a right angle. One of the angles is 29 times the other. So 29 times is 29, x. yeah, we're going to say x, and again, what does x represent? Yeah, so x represents the other angle. So one of these is 29x, and the other one is just x. So now what do we do to solve for x? Okay, and then what? Mm. What do they eat? Well, yeah, so they equal 90. So you're right, you were just doing it in your head. So 29x and 1x make 30x equal 90. <coughs> Divide by 30 and x equals 3. So we have an angle that's 3 degrees. 29 times 3 is 87 degrees. Good. So you're going to put it all aside for now. This is the notebook check for tomorrow. I'm going to tell you about it. You're not going to do it right now. We're doing something else right now. Okay? But I will tell you about it. Um, 1.5 notes look like your notes. The 1.5 review are the problems you numbered, 1 through 7. All right, I was hoping you had it We started them on Friday and we finished them on Monday. Okay? So that was a separate paper. Then we did 1.6. The 1.6 describing angle pairs, you're going to get back today to put in your, this is good. So you're going to get this paper back today. Everyone sees that 1.6 describing. Um, today's review, so the 9-11 review, will be next. And then your quiz, which you will also get back, will be last. Okay? But that is not what you're doing right now. You're going to take out a black and a blue pen. So go ahead and do that first. So a black and a blue pen.